Okay, number four. Trump says immigrants are taking black jobs. He did this at this uh, national black journalist thing that he went. Oh, I saw that. I saw the opening <sighs> question. <laughs> now, Axios, they say Trump says immigrants are taking black jobs. Reality check. There are no, this is the news organization. <laughs> They're giving you the news. Reality check. There are no black jobs because there is not any kind of racial requirement for employment. Black people have all kinds of jobs, from vice president to hedge fund bro to journalists and so on. Okay. Well, that's true. Black people are legally allowed to be employed everywhere. And they are employed everywhere. Yeah. But I think everyone knows what he means. What he means is what everyone has called black jobs up until Trump started saying the words black jobs. Because, in fact, in the community notes on this article, there are tons of links of different news organizations talking about black jobs and even reports from like, the U.S. government talking about immigrants taking black jobs. Report from like 2008 is in here. So the bunch of good links here in the community notes. Um, let's see. How about the U.S. Post Office cuts threatened source of black jobs? What's that, Reuters? Is that racism? Hmm. What are you talking about, Reuters? That's from 2013, so it was okay then. A cash-strapped postal service has eliminated 168,000 jobs since 2006. More cuts could result. Uh, African Americans represent 13.1% of the U.S. population, 11.6% of the labor force. According to a 2012 U.S. Department of Labor report, nearly one in five African American workers hold government jobs, such as mail clerk, firefighters, teachers, the report said. Okay, so the fact that the Postal Service is cutting jobs is affecting black jobs, according to Reuters. So that's interesting. How about The Root? They report a lot on racial type issues. Okay, uh, this is from 2023. Less than a year ago, November 2023. Is AI coming for black jobs? That's artificial immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what a recent study tells us. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, of course, there's more stuff in here. They mention roughly 4.5 million black jobs could be displaced by automation by 2030. It's totally fine until one specific person used that phrase. Mm. Like any other presidential candidate. And this is Josh. This is the kind of thing that we talk about. Like this. You know, we've never been huge fans of Trump. He's done a lot of things that we disagree with. Okay. But there is something different about the way that the media, the establishment media, treats this guy. And the way the lying and the gaslighting that occurs, right, where all of a sudden we're supposed to act like saying that someone's taking black jobs is a racist thing to say and say that there are specific jobs. And then here's the problem. You get more people to vote for him because they can see through the BS. Mm -hmm. And then they, the question pops in their mind, like, why do they hate this guy so much? You know? <sighs> Why are they trying to kill him? Why about, are they trying to put him in prison? What does he have? Like what he say? He's saying the same things you said back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's going on here? And so then, I mean, I came in to this show after the assassination attempt on July 13th and saying, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm going to vote for Trump now. Mm -hmm. Like, and I haven't liked the guy since I don't know. Since the beginning, I said... I hated The Apprentice. I thought it was terrible. I said when he first started running for president, I said that he was a liberal Democrat from New York. He mm -hmm. was a big spender. And that's a legitimately true statement. Yes. It's, it's like objectively he's not, true. He's not conservative whatsoever. But the problem is there's such... There's this like coordinated mounted effort to somehow uh, hate this guy... When he could probably be defeated on policy alone. You I just talk about normal stuff. And he could probably be defeated. And people wouldn't be so... They wouldn't feel like this connection. To, I, it, it's hard to describe, but there's almost like this emotional connection. Because he's being essentially bullied by the elites or the people in power, or the people in control. And so he's seen as this outsider coming in. So he connects more with the people because they feel like they're also being controlled and held down by the elite and lied to by the media. 
and they can't stand it. They they don't like it's not even really about policies because it's not exactly like Donald Trump shrunk the government or anything. It's about them losing control. The people that are actually in power, the bureaucrats in the state that are actually in power. It has it's really not about policy because for instance, Biden has continued separating families at the border and putting kids in cages. Like they don't care about that. They like to be able to control whoever the person is and Trump's Kind of seems like a guy that you really can't control, you know? Um, He's unhinged. He is unhinged. And uh, for better or worse or whatever, you just really can't control him. And I think that fact alone is the reason they treat him the way that they treat him. Not even about anything that he says. They just want to be in control. He's not a yes man. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah, there was a study from 2008. The impact of illegal immigration on the wages of employment opportunities for black workers uh, this is uh, the United States Commission on Civil Rights is pleased to transmit this report. A uh, panel of experts briefed members of the commission on April 4, 2008, regarding evidence for economic loss of job opportunity costs to black workers attributable to illegal immigration. The panel also described non-economic factors. Okay, let's see. Among its findings, the commission notes that the illegal workers are estimated to account for as much as one-third of total immigrants in the United States, and illegal immigration has tended to increase the supply of low-skilled Low wage labor available. The commission found that also that about six in 10 adult black males have a high school diploma or less and are disproportionately employed in the low skilled labor market and likely competition with immigrants. Evidence for negative effects of such competition range from modest to significant, according to the experts who testified. So this is from the United States Commission on Civil Rights. And that's what they have to say about this. Mm hmm. But Trump's racist for saying that immigrants are taking black. And listen, I don't go long. I don't care. I don't go along with that line. I think everyone needs to compete for jobs. And I think a free market for labor is fair. And I don't care if someone's an immigrant or not an immigrant, a citizen or whatever. I think people have to compete for whatever job that they have. You have to, you have to prove you're the yeah. best. And so I'm not, making, job. I'm not making the argument that immigrants are bad because they're taking this job or that job. Compete in the labor force. Okay. That's. We yeah. like free markets, right? That's a free market. Labor mm. is a commodity, and that's free market competition. You want the best person building your house. Right? Or, you know, some of the problems is they're illegal and can be below minimum wage, stuff like that, paid under the table, all that kind of stuff. Well, you work under the table, too, just like that guy. That's and free then let's all work together to get rid of these stupid laws. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Oh, if you want to find out more, go to blackjobs.com, a website that still exists. All right, there we go. That's Stumpleet. That's Stumpleet. That's actually a website, by the way. Oh, man. Um, yeah, so uh, let's go to Dumbleep number five. Uh, this is a couple things about abortion. By the way, the swipe thing is working now. Hey. It's just working. Did you get the switch? No, I don't have it plugged up. Huh. It's just working all of a sudden. Maybe, uh, it, was, maybe it was your, your hand. 